right. All right. Get those jitters out, folks. All right. Are you guys excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Awesome. I'm ready to go. Awesome. Awesome. So what we're going to do here is I am going to spin the wheel to see who our first killer is. I'm currently just waiting for Ace to be able to accept the thing. It says he's not online. I don't know what's going yep. on. Oh, there we go. Black Ace says you're in menu. I can't send you a fight. Tibbs, I've accepted you to be a speaker, so you can just yourself up. No cut. There you go. Thank you. And let's figure out who the first killer is going to be. Let's pick the killer. Hey, thanks for that follow. Merc, you are our first killer. If you can switch to killer, everyone else switch off. Um, Merc, figure out what map you'd like, and then just send me a message on what map you'd like to have chosen. And again, um, Merc, if you'd like to leave this uh, DVD showcase here so I can go over the team challenge with these folks. Before Merc's le Merc oh. leaves, yep. before we start, remember all anything above a green is banned. So make sure you don't have any purples or any stuff like that on your characters. Perks, the perks can be any level. Don't worry about your perks. It's just items and add-ons and offerings. As long as the they aren't purple, it's fine. Or hatches, of course. And or we hatches. can't. And we can't obviously pick a map. No, nope. uh, no, the map is up to the killer. Yeah, it's yeah. killer gets to pick map. All right. So Merc, Bamus, there we go. Excellent. So while he's doing that, figuring out what map he wants. Uh, give me a number, first number between 1 to 35. 26. 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 25, 26. All right. It is called Safe for Work. Survivors are restricted from cleansing any totems. Oh. Your team oh, challenge is Safe for Work. Survivors are restricted from cleansing any totems. That'd be a difficult I hate one. you, Kaz. Hey, man, I, I, I don't make the game, bro. I'm just saying. You made the rules. All right, so here's what's going to do is, yeah, I'm going to go pop off into the other channel here. I'm going to wait for the map. Once you see me right go, you guys can just hit ready, and then we'll go from there. All right. Hey, this is Merc. Uh, I don't stream. Um, I used to stream. Now I don't. Um, I mainly play WoW and well, WoW Classic, TBC, and DBD. Okay, uh, bye. All right, Tibbs. Right. Here we go. This is uh, yeah. All right, random. That's a uh, little, little, little un unexpected, in in my it opinion. It is, but I, he is playing hag. Uh, most maps are good for hag, so it's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. True, 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 true. All right. Um, I don't think we have anything else to do besides get this game on the go, eh? No, I do. I do believe we are ready to go. So our first matchup is it is Merc who will be playing something, I don't know. But the team challenge is safe for work. The survivors are not allowed to cleanse totems. And it's if- It's gonna be interesting to see if, if everyone follows that too. I'm already excited. I'm already excited. I'm a little- I am too. You know, this is this is gonna be good. It's gonna be a good a good matchup for these folks. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of different skill levels here. We have pe people with under fifty hours in this tournament, 
and people well over 1400 hours in this tournament right now and you know in the first two rounds we saw some great plays we saw some great moves we, you know this is just it's exciting in, in all of it right. i'm gonna go confirm something with merc really quick i'll be right back okay I was just double checking it wasn't a Mori because I'm pretty sure we didn't actually go over that. Oh, well, Moris are red. I mean, not he, all of them. He could bring a yellow one in, but that's going to be useless, right? He could bring a green too. Yeah. But then again, Moris are used, not really that powerful anymore. I just exactly. wanted to confirm it. Here we go. Ooh, the game. So right now we're in the game. This is the, I believe, the saw map. And Merc is the hag. Okay, okay. And this is bad because he's running two totem perks. Ooh. And one of them looks like it is Devour Hope. Are they going to wreck it? That's the question. It's going to be very interesting to see if they do. I, I think they're going to have to once it gets, like, propped. Ace currently working on a a gen all by himself. Oh, it looks like Kona, Kona Task has already been uh, surprised by a hag trap. Reese is the first person to go up on a hook here. They have finished one generator to one hook. Two people down. Yeah, I have to say, Merc's pressure right now is very good. Merc taking him for the long stroll. <laughs> Hook so far, one's injured. Let's see if they. Oh, Reese might actually hit second. Nope. Okay, they saved her just in time. That was close. That was super close. Oh, oh, there he comes. Ace, Ace with the protection hit. Again, I believe the pre like you said, the pressure coming from. Merc has been extremely strong so far. Yeah, this was a very good map for him to get. Especially since he was talking about wanting an indoor map anyways. Look how many traps he already has set up. All his traps look like they're down. He's got one. So there, he's got all eight traps currently out and about right now. That is a strong mm -hmm. hag move for sure. Making sure your traps are out. Two gens have been completed, but at this rate, he he's going really well so far. Ace is up on the hook as well. One difference that I'm noticing in this tournament is it looks like a lot of people brought toolboxes instead of medkits. Mm-hmm. And I think that's I think that's playing a big part in Merc's pressure right now. Yes. Someone currently making their way to Ace, who's just chilling out, hanging out on a hook. Got another Dwight. There's a lot of Dwights in this game. Yeah, 
Everyone's they're all, they're all the whites now that I look at it. Wow, man. <laughs> I, I was wondering if it was just a glitch, but now that you've moved around a little bit, yep. you can see that they are all on Dwight. I thought maybe my game broke. Good. I thought my game broke and there was uh, every model's a Dwight. Okay, then. <laughs> so oh! oh! Devour Hope now playing in. Everyone is now exposed. Why was he silent? Like, we didn't hear anything. Does he have... He has Tinkerer. Tinkerer. There you go. Well, then. He played that extremely well. Now, here comes the question. Are they going to try to find the totem and break it? And risk losing the 10 points? Or are they trying to play it out and try to survive? That's a tough call. I mean, in all honesty, I would I would sacrifice the 10 points because yeah, right I now think they need to sacrifice the 10 points to actually survive this game. Because right now, I think what if they make this save that puts Devour into Mori territory, correct? Um, no, not yet. I don't think it's in range to actually proc Devour, but it needs to get up to five points on it for Mori. Okay. That hook, though, might be in range for it. I don't know where his totem is. Going. Everyone, it looks like everyone's a lot more scared to try to save, though. Yeah. I don't think anyone ran Devour last time, if I'm correct. No, it was, uh, it was, De actually, Devour was run once, and it was destroyed right away. Hmm. See, right now, because that save was made, they needed someone to start popping. To start yeah, popping. Th this might be game, honestly. This might be game. Looks like Bright is going to be able to get the save on Ace soon. It looks like he's making his way there. Yep, he saved Ace. And Ace did pop one. That is a... And we have a Mori. We are in Mori territory now. Hoda is the first down. I I've never seen Merc play before, so I'm I'm surprised he's actually playing this well. I think a lot of it comes into the fact that he was able to get Devours. Like this, this, this Very honestly quickly, yeah. was a. You couldn't have asked for a better um, rollout or a better team challenge than what they challenge, rolled. Yeah. They rolled something that just, unfortunately, not good. Destroyed them, yeah. You know, not running BT. They were more focused on getting their own points instead of... It looks like a few of them does have, do have borrowed time. <sighs> Maybe one or two. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like Bright's gonna go down here, and there he goes. Right, down for the count, it is now up to Reese's and Ace. Reese with the most time played, or the second most time played. And Ace with the least time played, so this should be interesting. Indeed. Ace with the self care. Don't see. I think that. that's a very good perk going into this. You know, in all honesty, I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd have to agree with you. More times than not, I would disagree with you, because self care to me is it's just not a good, not a good tool. You know, in it, it depends how it's used. I'll, I'll say that. Um, I, I think so. I think a lot of people trash talk self care because in the long run, it's not that good of a perk. But if all the survivors run it and they constantly keep healing, there's not much the killer can do. True. But I think going into a tournament where it's a versus everyone, I think it's a I think it's a good idea. Ooh, Ace has been spotted. Will he be able to dodge most? Ah! No, he will not be able to. <laughs> He's 
up to Reese's now to find the hatch. Now, if Reese does find the hatch and escape through the hatch, technically the team challenge is done and she will pick up the only person to pick up those 10 bonus points. That's true. So she could get 20 points here. She could be walking out with 20 points if she can find Which that hatch. Huge. It's like she's very scared <laughs> of the traps, though. You know, as a survivor, that's probably the most scariest thing to see is the killer just walk in front of you. With Devour. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like Merc, Merc is... found the hatch. But if I'm looking at it, it um, sorry, I'm tongue-tied here. Reese does have a chance because he has no more traps to place. Oh, wait, he I lied. He can replace them, though. He can replace them. I lied. Okay, I thought it was after your eight. You're eight and done. I don't play Hag very often, so... I thought it was like Trapper. Once you're done, you're done. He could get out of this if she plays it right, though. She does have Spine Chill, which will help her open the gate faster once he starts coming back. It's just the struggle of managing to get to the gate. Because this is very difficult in this, right? Because you just don't know where his traps are, right? Mm -hmm. But I think get, the longer you give him, the more he can just set him up, the worse, the less the chance you have. Get, yeah. Exactly. This is where a flashlight would have been very handy. Oh, indeed. A flashlight here would have made this game a much easier. I think he might see the Dwight Santa hat here. He does. Oh, he doesn't. Wait. He doesn't. This is her chance. He's not doubling Reese's back. Could get out here. She, she, Reese is going to make it. She's at the door. Technically, she has enough time. She does have enough time to open it. He's at. He's, she's going to get out here. Merc sees the lights, the door, it's open. Reese She's running. Out. It's over. <laughs> Reese, wow. 20 points. Merc walks out with 10, 20, 30 points. That was that a very was exciting. Huge that, on Reese's part. That was huge. That was a very exciting first round. Holy smokes. I have to, wow. Yeah. Fantastic. I, uh, I, I tip my hat to them for sure. I tip my hat. Um, yeah, that was a great round. Yeah, no, that was uh, woo! Just wiped the the sweat off the brow on that one. That was that was a tough. <laughs> that was a very tough one to watch, in my opinion. I mean, tough first game. Yeah. You know, I think the first round, our first game, I think that you were the killer and you just murdered everybody. Yeah, I, I was the killer as well. Yeah. So both, both first and second round, both have very tough first games. I'm very excited to see how this goes. No, it's a uh, duff. No. Oof. Woof. Wipe, wipe the, the, the tears, the tears on that one. <laughs> you can see, you can see. Merc just watching him leave and go, oh no. <laughs> yeah, you really could. Yeah. All right. I, I think Merc's mistake there was setting up a little too many traps at the exit gates. I think one or two would have been enough like he had, and then it just needed to patrol it. True. True, true, true. 